we have an anterior view of the trunk and we are looking at the diaphragm muscle. The diaphragm actually originally evolved from being two separate muscles on the left and right sides of the body that then blended into each other. But the diaphragm is usually treated as if it is one muscle that spans across both sides of the body. The diaphragm has an inferior attachment that is circumferential 360 degrees around the body, attaching onto the internal surfaces of the lower six ribs, as well as the sternum and xiphoid process, and also attachments onto L1, 2, and 3 of the lumbar spine. From there, the fibers run superiorly, coalescing to form what is called the central dome of the diaphragm, seen here in white. 